Today, Precarious plays... Transistor. Alright game, I'll do it. But only because I've exhausted all other press A's in this room. This is not something I would ever think to do in real life. Yeah, you know? let's break open the canisters that hold the Metroids. Let's just pop those guys open. See what happens. And what are we gonna do? Are we gonna are we gonna ride them to We're gonna ride them to Fairview? Fairbank? Bankview? Fairbank? Lawn bank? Banker's house? Wow. That is exactly what we were doing, and we just passed another one of those big snicks. Huh. They got greedy. Grant the others. Only one left. But he's gotta know something. Out there somewhere in fair. We already have his stuff. We just read about him. Oh no. But look at this dude. Wonder if he right clicked on his file and made a copy. Oh Sorry, that might have been a little loud, but just phrasing it that way <laughs> made my stomach lurch a little bit because I... You were in the middle of a yawn, so... That was the psychic equivalent of punching someone in the gut. <laughs> While they're already exhaling. Mm-hmm. Hey. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> this gives me a lot to think. I often spend time thinking about people as packets of data that are just too complex mm -hmm. to really understand on that level. But the idea of like right click copying somebody mm -hmm. scares the bejesus out of me. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm starting to get frustrated with this game. Yeah, how? I mean, like, I know that you've been feeling it for a little bit, but specifically what? Well, at the end of that fight, I was just so frustrated at watching that enemy's HP go back up. And I just got really hyper-focused on killing the dog on my own terms rather than doing what was logical. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's very obvious what you should do in that scenario. Kill the healer, and then deprived of their healer, you kill the enemy. But mm -hmm. it's it was down so low from, like, one hit, and it just very effortlessly moved away from me in a way that I can't because of, like, the perspective and the kind of, like, axial locking of, of Rad, which I'll explain what that means in a minute once I'm done with this menu. Mm -hmm. Um... Yeah, just, it was like, no, he says through gritted teeth, I will kill you now the way that I want to. And I just started mashing on B until I basically out damaged the healing. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Get or purge. I don't know. Purge sounds fun. Hmm. And I think... That might fill out the top row, right? That's what I'm hoping. Ugh. Ah, this is... This is where we fought, um... Sybil. Mm, yeah, it is. Oh, but it's a little... Sick. Mm, yeah. It's got the wooblies and the geo. The whole thing. 
got the geometries. Hmm. I'd hate to come down with a bad case of geometry. It... <laughs> like, I know that they said it, but I wasn't sure exactly where we were. Until, like, I started to move away, and then that... This is a very familiar triangle. Yeah. You were just here, singing. We got a full house. <laughs> Uh. Oh, okay. They hear for a song. Mm hmm. I don't know if we've really covered it, but I can hum on command. So I'm humming to them, and this is the reaction. Maybe stop. Yeah, I'm gonna go with don't. <laughs> don't give them what they want. <laughs> oh, up there. Probably getting his friends. Maybe he got lost. Mm. Oh. Oh, oh, goodbye. They think you. What a mess. Uh, where? In memory, one of Cloud Bank's most in can you read this one actually? One of Cloud Bank's most influential voices has gone silent amid the process endemic spreading through the city unchecked. Red became active as a musician from a young age, though her popularity surged in recent years, as her songs constantly charted in the top tenth percentile for the past five years, according to OVC data. While Red is but one of thousands of disappearances this week, Thousands more gathered to honor her life and her music on the east, on the eastern perimeter as the sound of her voice cut through the darkness. I think you're right. Mm-hmm. Of course. Of course I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is so sweet. It's sweet watching her use the terminal to talk to him. Mm-hmm. Gotta retrace our steps. Get Time to think, but I haven't seen a piece of paper anywhere. We'll make our way from there. Probably doesn't exist. <laughs> paper. Dang it. Oh. Oh well. I don't like that limiter either because that limiter like the two of these I these two down here I really just like because they feel very like this one might as well because of the the control you as a player because of the control you have over the game it might as well just say uh you, you have to beat all of the battles cleanly mm -hmm. <laughs> like you can't we we strip out the the function destruction system completely, and you have to beat all the enemies in one bar of health mm. because it's like do it right, or you're going to be seriously uh, hamstrung. Yeah, hamstrung, hamstringed. No, you're gonna have your hamstrings cut if you don't do it the right way. And then this one, this one is just like have less fun, have less fun. Playing the game, you know the thing. It is thing? called responsibility. You know the thing that we've been using as a reward. Mm-hmm. We're gonna take some of that away from you. <laughs> we have to do this crap. Spawn a seeking parasite. <clears throat> what is the price of it? Ooh. Maximilius Darcy. What a good name, and what a fancy outfit. Hat. No, I think that is part of his collar. Because if you look, he's got a hooded collar. Oh no, that's his hair. That's his hair. No, because no, no, the no, hair the peacock is... feathers are not the hair. But what I thought was a hood is his hair. Oh no, but his hair is sticking out of the hood. No, no I think I, don't know I think that's just that. a. I think it just swoops close yeah. to the neck. Yeah. Because if you look at the left 
our left side, you can see that the color is the collar is not anywhere near the hairline. Mm-hmm. I don't even necessarily know if that is actually an asymmetrical haircut. It might just be. Um, Purposefully dramatic foreshortening. Mm-hmm. Land turning costs is low. Target is slowed. Oh, that slows a target. I did want something that slowed enemies. I think I could probably just put that here. Base damage, flood projectiles, damage over time. 40 across two seconds. Yeah, that sounds great. I'll try that. Hmm. Hmm. This isn't our town anymore. It's theirs. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'll uh -huh. target prioritizing any second now. Here we go. It's always was fun shooting the enemies up into the air. Kind of hoping for instant death, though. Hmm. I like the visual effect that that makes. Yeah. It's very... I hate the push and pull effects. They're really frustrating. Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know if I described that before. So, red has... Actually, I suppose not. But it feels like it sometimes. Like, red feels like... You know what it might be? I think I might have said the exact opposite of what I should have before. Yeah, what do you mean? Uh, it feels like I wish that this game had stronger axial locking and some of these... Like, see how I'm not actually that close to this object, it feels like? Yeah. Like, I'm sort of, like, floating away from it as I move along? Yeah. I kind of wish that because a lot of the topography is so geometric here this is probably the, the perfect example so i i feel like i'm moving at a, a, a the, the proper diagonal right now but see how i keep like bumping into stuff and then having to skirt around it yeah i think that i i wish that i was on like an eight direction grid mm, mm -hmm. when I was moving. Like, do you remember how Mario moved in Super Mario 3D World when we played that forever ago? How even though it was a, a 3D game with a joystick, you were still sort of softly oh, locked. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I didn't have a problem with that. Yeah, neither did I. And I, I kind of wish that this game had that as well. Mm -hmm. Who is this person? Is this... I mean, it's... Yeah, we already, we already saw who that was. Mm -hmm. hmm. But there's a new paragraph there, isn't it? Yeah, but... I know we don't look at them all until we have them all, but... Right. But I was curious. Don't be that way, because then you might be killed like a cat. <laughs> is how that works. So, target penetration instead of bouncing, so it'll just go straight through? But that's Breach's thing. What does... Increases range and projectile velo velocity. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think giving it a trail is what I want to do. I'll try it this way. Are the combinations fun? Sometimes. The only one that I've seen that's fun is whatever it is that attaches to things to make you move, like bounce people into the air. 
This is the only thing that occurs to me is super fun. 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 What is fun? Are the combinations fun? You have fun combining things? Broadly speaking, yes. Here specifically, I I don't know. Sometimes... <sighs> In general, for Transistor, I guess I would have to say no, because whenever I combine things and it doesn't work like I think it's going to, or it winds up hindering me instead of helping, like any time I make a clone and then accidentally wind up charming the clone, mm -hmm. um, yeah, it just winds up being a letdown. I guess I don't enjoy the combining very much. And honestly, if you can't enjoy red charming another red, then it's a major failing, I would say.